Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloomer.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a blueprint in Soho CRM. Let's start. Alright, so a blueprint is a Zoho CRM feature that allows you to map a sales process so the CRM users have to follow the process. And you can create blueprints for leads, contacts, deals, or any other module in Soho CRM. Today I'm going to show you a blueprint that I already have created and we're also going to create a new blueprint for the deals module. And something to keep in mind before creating a blueprint is that you should write down the process that you want to map and also identify the different stages that you're going to use to map the process. All right, so let me show you a blueprint that I have already created and it is related to the leads module. I have it right here in this tab. So this is my leads process and it can be different than yours, but I just wanted to show you this up front so you know what we're going to be creating later on. The white rectangles like this one are the stages that I mentioned that you have to identify and the blue and green buttons are the different transitions. All right, let's create a new blueprint. First, we have to go to the setup page and then we're going to click here where it says blueprint under process management. Here you can see the list of blueprints I already have and this one is the one that we just reviewed, but we're going to click on this button where it says create blueprint to create a new one. Then we're going to name the blueprint and we're going to select a module. In this case, the module is going to be deals. In choose layout, we're going to leave it at standard, but here where it says choose field, you can see that it says choose a pick list with multiple values. These values will be listed as states. So for this example, we're working with deals and we already have stages. So we're going to use that field. I'm going to click here and I'm going to select stage. And we're not going to define any criteria. All right, let's click on next. And here we can start creating our blueprint. On the right side, I have the different states. And like I said, these states are the stages of my sales process. And normally my sales process goes like this. First, we qualify the deal, then we do a video call, then we do a proposal, then we negotiate, and finally, we sign a contract. And when everything is completed, we close one the deal. If we lose the deal at any stage, we just move to close lost. So that's how we're gonna map our sales process in that order. To add a field, just drag and drop the field to the center, and now the field is there. I'm gonna do that with the rest of the fields really quickly. And I'm gonna link all the stages in order. All right, so as you can see, we have our basic sales process ready. And as you can see, we also have all those red buttons where we have to add transitions. A transition moves a deal from one stage to the other. So to create a transition, just click on the red button and then give it a name. In this case, I'm gonna call it ready for a video call. And I'm gonna click here where it says add new. And then I'm gonna click on save. And the transition has been added. And here we can do some cool things like selecting who can see the transition. In this case, it says record owner, but we can remove it so it applies to any user. Now we have another tabs here. This one says during, meaning that when someone uses this transition, he or she is gonna have to do the different tasks that we assign here. So for example, we can make notes as mandatory. And we can also add other fields using this button. So we're also going to make mandatory that a field of the deal has to be completed before moving to the next stage. So I'm going to select that the account name has to be there. So if the account name is not there, then the user is not going to be able to move the deal to the next stage. And the last tab here after are actions that can be performed after the deal was moved to the next stage. You can send email notifications, create tasks, update fields, trigger webhooks, trigger custom functions or actions, and also add tags. We're not going to cover this in this video, but let me know in the comments below if you are interested in learning how to use this part of Blueprints. All right, so we already have the transition ready, and now I'm gonna create the rest of the transitions really quickly.
Okay, so all the transitions are ready. But here you can see that the only way to lose a deal is if you move it to negotiation first. But we don't want that. Maybe after the video call, we realized that this is not a good deal for us and we want to lose it. And we cannot do that from here if we leave the blueprint like this. So we're going to make this transition a common transition. So you just click on it and then click here where it says common transition. And we're going to click on include all states and we're going to remove qualified and close one. All right, our blueprint is ready. So now we're going to click on publish. And now the blueprint is up and running and you can check that uh, here on all status. In this case is on or activated. Okay, so let's see what we just created. I'm going to go to this new tab where I have a deal. And this is the old way to move between stages. These are all the stages available. And as you can see, at any point, the users can just click at any stage and move the deal to that stage. With Blueprints, we are removing that ability, making sure that they follow the sales process. So I'm going to refresh the page so it shows the new Blueprint. And now we don't have all the options anymore. We only have this button next to transitions. So when this deal is ready for a video call, we're just going to click here where it says ready for video call. And this message is going to prompt us to add notes and to make sure that we selected an account. We have to complete these two fields to be able to move forward. I'm going to click on save. And now the stage or current state is video call. And we have these two new transitions, ready for proposal or lost. If after the video call, we decide this is a deal that we don't want to pursue, we can just click on lost and it will move the deal to the closed loss stage and it will also exit the blueprint because that's the last stage of the blueprint. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I also have other videos about Soho CRM on this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.